Hey everybody, my name is Elise, and today you're gonna see Elise clean. <laughs> so I saw somebody on TikTok clean their tile grout with bleach toilet bowl cleaner. And I thought that might work in my mudroom. So we're gonna do an experiment today. Oh my God, I'm finally using my biology degree. Ah. Welcome to my mudroom, literally the muddiest room in the house. That door goes to the garage, so this is where we come in from doing yard work. We bring in grass, dirt, mud. We don't have a coat closet in this house, so all the coats and shoes get dumped here. The grout is supposed to be gray. It looks pretty black in this room. I have this tile upstairs as well, and it doesn't look anything like this. Plus, the tile is textured, has lots of grooves in it, and all the grooves are black. Mud is just stuck in there. And I can't get it up with a regular mop, with a steam mop. I've used all the different soaps. I have scrubbed this with baking soda and vinegar. Nothing works. So we're gonna try toilet bowl cleaner, thanks to TikTok. Take one last before look, and then I'm gonna sweep and mop so we have a clean slate for our experiment. I used my bare floor attachment on my Dyson to sweep slash vacuum, and it really does a good job of grabbing all the dirt. Then I used my regular mop with Dawn dish soap and warm water. I figured that was a pretty non-offensive soap, and it cleans really, really well, and it wouldn't leave a weird residue. And this is how it looked after that. Still the same, just wet and shiny. Then I mopped again with my steam mop. I wanted to make sure I got everything up so I knew it was the bleach doing all the work. I'm only gonna put the gel on these left two columns of tile, so then we can do a side-by-side -side comparison in the same light. And this is the product I'm using. This is just Clorox Bleach Toilet Bowl Cleaner. All I did was squeeze it into the grout lines. I wanted to use it to clean the tile as well, but I wanted it to sit on the grout the longest, so I just followed the lines. It's a pretty thick gel, so it stays in place pretty well, but as it sat, it kind of bled out a little bit, which is fine. And I think the reasoning behind using this rather than a Clorox bleach pen is that it's cheaper to get the toilet bowl cleaner, you know, by volume. So I'm excited to try it. Let's see if it works. Some people said they just left it for about 15 minutes and saw a difference, but I had a lot more chores to do that day, so I was just gonna let it sit until I was done cleaning the rest of the house. And then I came back and wiped it up to see how it looked. Okay, it's been about two and a half hours, actually. I don't see much of a difference yet, but I'm gonna scrub it and wipe it off. Let's take a look. I scrubbed it with my husband's toothbrush, just kidding. And then I wiped it up with a wet microfiber cloth. From far away, I don't see much of a difference on the grout, but the tiles look way better just from what spilled over and just from me wiping up. So at least that's a benefit. But if you look close, like it is definitely lighter. And you can really see that like over here is a spot where the bleach kind of ran through. And then here's where it stopped. So there is a difference. <laughs> but is it amazing? And at the very least, the tile finally looks really clean. Like, look at the difference between these two and these two. And I feel like it's still a little damp, too. So maybe tomorrow it'll look really light. <laughs> a girl can hope. We'll look tomorrow. So I did the rest of the room, and then I let it dry all night. The grout held onto a lot of moisture, so when I was first done, it did look black still because it was really wet, but in the morning, it did look really gray, and I was really impressed. The biggest difference, though, is the grooves in the tiles. Those look amazing. Some spots that were really black when I started in the grout look a little bit splotchy, so I feel like if I did those areas a second time, that would take care of it, but for now, I'm really impressed with how it turned out, and the room looks so much brighter. Here's my in progress photo when I did just the left side and you can really see a difference in the tile in this picture, how all the grooves are holding onto the dirt on the right and the left side looks really, really clean. So take a look at my before and after pictures and see what you think. My only complaints with this method was that it was pretty messy and it stunk. I mean, it's bleach. And so that room, which is really small, smelled like bleach for about three days. So that's the only downside, but it did really work. So I'd say eight out of 10 would recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.